feel like Overmaster is favored to win this one. But we will see. I definitely feel like his pair is stronger, but... Turn mm -hmm. one, absolute zero. Very nice. Stunt is a very good card to bring in this matchup. It lets uh, Overmaster bypass the focus restriction. When he's frozen, he can just play Stunt to uh, directly move his flare, or his aura to flare with arrow effects. That'll be pretty strong. Three sources of flinching in his deck also. Not counting the transform. Although Roaring is primarily going to be used to recover machine tokens. Effect. It'll let him get his black box going early though, so good chance it comes out soon. Stacking flinches isn't great though. He's got three flinches in his hand right now. Probably gonna want to space them out on multiple turns if he can, but that goes against Himika's thing. Maybe you just bite the bullet. This isn't a very good attack hand anyway though, so. Yeah, I don't know. Roaring, Advance, Alpha Edge, Backdraft, Burning Steam. Hmm. No Backdraft. Right, he didn't have the flare to do his alpha edge. Could have played stunt for that, I guess, but then he'll probably just get discarded to room. Not that he would know that. All right, we got some industria coming out. Duple gear going in. Looks like he's not choosing. Feel anything? Rain Devil.
So the industrial target for midwinter is probably going to be Blade Dance, but that remains to be seen. I wasn't really here for deck building, so. Alright, attack chain start. Would have been nice if he had Alpha Edge up here, but. Apparently, I just connected. Uh oh. It looks like Guru Rune came down. Moving back for quick shot? No. Maybe. Hunting. Holding quick shot. Oh, there it is. Okay. So it would have made a difference there on that turn is if he had some alpha edges getting thrown in. But at this point, he's possibly just trying to, word I'm thinking here, oh, burn his machine tokens to transform. Okay, getting a 1-2 and full froze.
Unfortunately, he doesn't have the machine token to stack those cards, but he can pretty easily set up for his black box by playing Waving Edge this turn. I wonder why Midwinter keeps his specials off to the side like that. Okay, like Midwinter wants to go for the Polar Blade Dance. Popping up a stun for Mechanism. Hmm. I see, and then probably dro dropping Blade Dance so that he can get the shadow he needs for Reflecta. We'll see. That is in range. Aura is full, so it will be a 3 2. Taking it to Aura is really hard if he wants to transform next turn, but probably still correct. Hmm. Reflect the discarded. If he wants to black box, he should be discarding his whole hand. Okay, that seems very aggressive. Okay. Well, he definitely has a use for all that flare. Which ones you got? Okay. Crossbite. So Overmaster cannot take the focus action. Oh. 
Oh, this doesn't get much more dire. This is pretty awful. Aura log can't focus, can't gain aura. It would be a lot less bad if it was Thalia another, because then you could at least transform to recover to and get rid of some of those tokens. <laughs> mm, could he get rid of You can't do the... Uh, you can't oh, recover. wait, it's, it's recovered, not focused. My bad. Yeah, My yeah. bad. I'm... <laughs> you can't recover with full aura. I'm, I was thinking... With... That it replaced recover for some reason. Yeah, and he wouldn't be able to focus either because that. Oh, you can't focus. Oh, yeah. Is there any getting out? Like, how much damage uh, does the other player have? Mm, not much, actually. So, I, I think the best that Midwinter's going to be able to do is to. Uh, Redraw the Blade Dance duplicate gear. Gonna do the turn, right? Yeah, because you still got one more draw. Oh, wait. Oh, you got Yak Shed, okay. Yeah, no, Julia has worked out pretty well here. Overmaster is still probably going to have to clinch for his life a little bit, but he's got a lead right now, so not too much to worry about. And I'm assuming from the Aksha, he's got to have Omega Burst, so he can block at least one thing. He does not have Omega Burst. Oh, that's kind of silly, but okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Omega Burst is great in this matchup, right? You can, the most damage you're going to take is four. Yeah, he's so... running a more aggressive build. He's got... Uh, Crimson Hemika, or no, not Crimson, Crimson Zero, and uh, Alpha Edge. Mm. Which Alpha Edge is not seen enough play so far, I feel like, for being brought. But... Well, I mean, especially with Crimson, I, mean, I like that actually, because you, you get into zero distance, you Crimson Zero, you Alpha Edge, which should be able to go through potentially. Alpha Edge is and if not... one, but yeah. Well, yeah, you retreat one, right? Alpha edge, and then yeah. follow it up with shield burst, and then you get two to life that is flare denial. I yeah, think that's a yeah, yeah. that's a strong rotation there. Yeah, and uh, Midwinter's pair doesn't have anything that can avoid that, really. They, like, can use the uh, Karuna reaction to, like, quickly recover and not take that to life, potentially. But that's the best case scenario for him. Right. There's no singing or dancing here. I kind of, kind of feel like no reactions are sort of dominating this season, but... I mean, that should put... Right. In in theory, that should bring up the relevance of uh, of of Mizuki, especially with all the buffs she's been getting. Like every single uh, time cards are released, but... mm. she also can just be banned if you're counting on no reactions. So maybe we need another character like that. Yeah, Mizuki does seem to be getting banned a lot too. sure if you've read the design blogs or not before, but there was uh, a specific one when they nerfed Oboro's uh, second normal, uh, talking about how no reactions is just too powerful to have on cards. Uh, and that's when no reactions normal came about, uh, mm -hmm. was around. Uh, before that, it, you just, it was just no reactions. Uh, it was on a lot of cards, and it was just 
too strong. And I feel like it's kind of gone back in that direction where there's just a ton of characters with no reactions written on their cards. Monica O in particular has gotten really nasty, but yeah. She had a really strong presence in the uh, the first big online tournament in the new JPN server. Oh, really? Okay. I believe it. Yeah. Because Destructive Spirit Ray is just nasty. And yeah. It's so much easier to get that first part of the Bloom Chain, too. Yeah, yeah. The first attack you can play on really your second turn. <laughs> yeah, uh, maybe even your first turn if you're crazy aggressive about it, but... Yeah. And then Honoka is one of those characters that pairs with anyone, so you just she's a free third include basically. All right, where are we at here? Our master cannot defend himself, but. Needs to get up to two finger. Do some machine token recovery. Hmm. All right, Elpage. All right, going to get hit for two life this turn. Catching Midwinter up a bit. Well, maybe not. Depends on whether he can get to range. He might get hit for three life. Can. Having some issues with cards being read, so he's having to copy paste a lot. That's really potentially nasty for next turn doing a, a three two that full freezes or two three. Yeah. For sure. That's um unfortunately not going to amount not so much this turn. And Overmaster's got so much flinch it's not even funny. Maybe it's a little bit funny, actually. Nope. Oh, again. <laughs> 